love it every time Marjorie comes to the <laughs> studio because she brings us all food and they're always from a different place, a different mm -hmm. background, a different flavor profile and today it's Korean. Korean food, absolutely. What do we have in front of us? Uh, we have spicy noodles. Yum. Yes, very good. And these are dumplings. You can either steam these or you can put them in the oven. I chose to put them in the oven. Mm -hmm. And they give you a nice uh, heat yeah. and some really good opportunities to use your veggies. Of course. And so what is what are they wrapped in? Is that a dough? Mm -hmm. This is just a dough. It's a quick dough. It takes probably five minutes to put together. Uh -huh. And there's no oil in it. Gotcha. And so you just pop them and bake them. And do you saute, because there's some yummy ingredients mm -hmm. in there. What's in there and how do you get those flavors oh, packed First in? of all, there's a marinated tofu that's okay. cubed up to give you kind of a texture. Um, and then we have what I refer to as my favorite meat, um, which is soy curls. It's the soybean pod. Try these little that guys. That is dehydrated. And then you can rehydrate this and it's like chicken. It doesn't taste like anything until you make it taste like something. For sure. And then you can flavor it any way, any culture, any, or, you know, any flavor profile you want to use. What exactly are we looking for in Korean food? What are their flavors? Um, they use a lot of uh, red chilies. Yes. There's lots of garlic and ginger. Yum. Yeah, absolutely. So it's, it's got a lot of the same profiles as a lot of other Asian foods, but they do use like the gochujang mm -hmm. a lot and um, so a lot high. of the red pepper flakes. And so all of these different things, they obviously have no oil in them. No, these don't. How, is there something that we're subbing instead of oil or does this just um, naturally we're work? We're just using flavor. Yeah. Yes. And so um, the problem with oil is that it's so calorie dense. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we'll go to a really, our favorite oriental place and it will just be glossy and shining. Right. And every time we take a tablespoon of oil, we're adding like two or 300 calories per serving. Wow. So for me, um, I like to omit the oil and just back in um, a sauce or back in a broth or mm -hmm. a lot of veggies. And it doesn't even, I mean, these, I, I won't lie, I've taken little nibbles <laughs> on them. And these, I would never miss the oil. I no, would never sit no. there thinking about, you know, that, actually thinking about it, I don't think I would want the oil to begin with because mm. that shiny kind of yep. thing that you're talking about, I'm going to start thinking about that now as I go out to eat. And so what's in these? I realize that we haven't explained those mm -hmm. at all. Oh, these are the spicy noodles. They've got cabbage, they've got carrots, they've got um, a little bit of the soy curls in them. Um, and a lot of red pepper sauce and ginger. Yeah. Yeah. And how long would you say that each of these took to whip up? Um, this one takes probably 10 minutes, maybe. Wow. Well, this one takes longer because you have to let the dough rise right. twice. Other rice than that, twice? twice. I let it rise twice. Okay. So but, when did you start? When did you? Um, maybe? I started yesterday afternoon. And I ran to the store for supplies <laughs> late last she night. She does but so much for us, starting um, yesterday afternoon. <laughs> and so just so everyone does know, our whole, everyone who's here at the noon hour, mm -hmm. I mean, we don't have too terribly many people. Reporters right. are out doing stories. Our evening anchors might not have gotten here yet. But everyone who's here at the studio does really love and enjoy Marjorie's food. And the coolest thing, in my opinion, is that none of us are vegan. I don't eat meat, right. but none of us are actually vegan, right. and to see everyone just loving this and getting so excited, right. it is really something that we could incorporate into everyday mm -hmm. life with yep. anyone's palate. Absolutely. This gives you an opportunity to increase your intake of vegetables, mm -hmm. um, increase, kind of branch out from what you normally see as comfort foods or go-tos, right. and give you um, a little bit more fiber and some more vitamins and, and just ump your, your game. And it smells so good. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for coming yeah. in, Marjorie. Don't forget, email her, get these recipes, try them out at home, try them out with whatever ingredients you have around the house and let us know what you think. Thank you so much, Marjorie. No problem.